What's up guys, hello there and welcome to another unboxing video and today is going to be a Disney Infinity 3.0 mega unboxing I'm going to be unboxing the starter pack for the Xbox One I'll be unboxing a, play, uh, a certain playset and also a few figures as well So yeah, <coughs> excuse me Disney Infinity came out uh, yesterday, the 28th of um, uh, August 2015 uh, Big fan of the franchise so far um, I'm a big fan of Skylands as well, which is kind of where they got, where they got the idea from. And uh, if it ever comes down in price, I will be getting Lego Dimensions as well, but there's no way I'm paying 100 quid for the Star Pack, that's ridiculous. Uh, but yeah, here is the um, uh, Disney V3.0, which um, focuses on uh, Star Wars, obviously the new Star Wars film coming out later in the year. Uh, to kind of coincide with that, of course the first one being uh, kind of just usual Disney stuff. Uh, the uh, 2.0 being uh, Marvel characters and of course Disney Infinity 3.0 with, with uh, Star Wars characters but not just Star Wars characters, they've got some other stuff as well uh, but yeah, so yeah, uh, I do now, I don't, I'm not 100% sure how right this is but the reason I got the Star Pack even though I do have the other games is I have the other games on the Xbox 360 whereas this is on the Xbox One now I don't know if the... Um, well, the portal, whatever you call it, for the 360 will work on the Xbox One. But I only paid 32 quid for this because I you I basically I got this from uh, Tesco.com. Excuse <coughs> me again. Um, and I used some uh, club card boost uh, vouchers, so it would have been well, it was 18 pounds worth of vouchers, so it would have been uh, 50 quid. So I'm shit at maths. Uh, I think it was 50 anyway. It would have been 50, but I got it for 32. So even if I don't actually need the uh, the Infinity Base, I I paid kind of 32 quid for the game and the um, kind of the Twilight of the something playset, which is the playset that you get inside the starter pack. So even if I don't need the portal, it, I didn't kind of like pay anything extra for it. So that's not too bad. Uh, <clears throat> so like I say, I'm not 100% sure if you can actually use the, the 360 portal on the Xbox One. Um, I'll probably kind of try that out a bit later. But anyway, enough about that. So yeah, I'll start off with the um, in, uh, Vin, in Disney Infinity 3.0 starter pack. Of course, this is for the Xbox One, like I just mentioned before. So yeah, there is the front. You can see what you get inside, which is the... Oh, what's it called? Twilight of the... Actually, I'll say, I think it'll say on the... No, it won't. Hang on. One second. It is the Twi uh, tw yeah, Twilight of the Republic uh, playset. Uh, of course, you can buy if you already have the uh, 2.0 for the, the Xbox One. Uh, you can just buy the playset and um, and the game separately. Uh, but yeah, so here is the front. Like I said, with the starter pack on the bottom, uh, uh, designed for Xbox One Infinity 3.0 Play Without Limits. And here is the side. Again, I do apologize. First, I do apologize for the uh, the framing and um, the kind of logistics of this because it is. I don't have the greatest tripod, so I can't kind of set it up any better than this. So I do apologise if uh, if you get any glare or kind of the the framing isn't very well, isn't, isn't very good. But there you have it. So yeah, they kind of uh, gives you a basic outline. Basically, uh, if you don't know already, uh, you get the video game and also the toys you buy separately, and you get the actual the actual figure, and then you put it on the the base, and it comes up in the game. So it kind of gives you a basic thing about that. Uh, so the starter pack includes the two figures, the Infinity Base, the game, the playset piece, and the web code card at Disney.com forward slash infinity. Then on the side we have expand your Disney Infinity Adventures with playset packs, figures, power disc packs, and toy box expansion games. And uh, here is the back. One game, two ways to play. Play in their galaxy, uh, play in their galaxy in the playsets. And also, of course, the uh, toy box mode where you can uh, uh, kind of make your own... Uh, kind of use your imagination to make your own kind of game world, which is really really cool. Uh, on the back, it says uh, Marvel, Star Wars, and Disney. Uh, it says uh, internet connection may be required for some features or content. There you go. All Star Wars characters can cross over to all Star Wars playsets. Simply collect in-game crossover coins to unlock this feature. Uh, players one to two or Xbox One, Xbox over Xbox Lives, it's two to four players. Uh, co-op two players and Xbox Live co-op two to four players. Disney Infinity Base required, all that kind of uh, kind of safety info. So yeah, let's finally actually get into this sucker. So uh, yeah, like I said, a big fan of the uh, the franchise. Uh, had got the first game. Obviously with the uh, Skylands, they have kind of brand new characters. 
But you can kind of, uh, I mean, whereas you can go more places with Skylanders because they kind of make, kind of make, make them up. There are still a lot of kind of Disney characters, so that it's not going to kind of like they're not going to run out of characters anytime soon, which is which is always good. Uh, so yeah, first, I will pick out the. Uh, so this is uh, in essence the Twilight of the Republic um, playset pack. Again, which you can uh, which you can buy separately if you do already own um, any of the, any of the other games. Now, I'm pretty sure, I'm not hundred percent sure, I'm pretty sure. The uh, the first game came out before the Xbox One was actually released, so I don't think you can get the first one. The Xbox One, you can on the, you can get the second one. Uh, but yeah, here we have the like I said, the playset pack. We have uh, Luke Skywalker and uh, that character. I have no idea what her name is. Anything underneath? No. Nope. So pop that box over there. And then we have the um, yeah, set against. I do apologise for the noise. Is it? No, it's, or is it, no, it's Anakin Skywalker, I think, isn't it? I think. Again, I've never watched... Um, uh, I think this is kind of like the Clone Wars kind of um, thing, and also I'm not that big of a Star Wars fan. So to be honest, the game itself, it's uh, kind of mo the thing I'm most looking forward to because I don't really kind of get Star Wars. I don't, it's, not, it's, just not, it's just not my cup of tea, really, but... As you can probably guess, I'm not going to be uh, going to see the film. I'm just not very interested. Shove that down there. So we have the... Actually, it doesn't really matter I'm not going to use it anyway. Then we have the web code card, which kind of uh, shows you what characters you get as well. And just a random bit of cardboard. So yeah, there we have the uh, two figures, which is very, very cool. I do like the uh, kind of design of these Infinity figures um, a bit more than the Skylanders ones, because uh, I don't know, it's, just, it's kind of like shell set, uh, shell shaded cell shaded kind of uh, animation kind of stuff which I really like and then we have the uh, playset piece which is uh, obviously you put this on the base and um, that allows you to play the um, Twilight of the Republic playset pack again really well designed I do like uh, kind of the crystal look of it so yep, there is the figures from the starter pack so I'll pop those over there and then the second part of this box is uh, the game itself of Marvel Star Wars Disney, and then again you get most of this stuff on the on the back of the actual box as well. Uh, it's a uh, uh, Peggy Seven for violence, fear, and uh, online. So yeah, uh, neither nah, you mean you, it's basically you know what it is. Basically just game and uh, kind of the safety info. Then you get the um, kind of uh, instructions about the uh, Infinity Base. So uh, yeah, again just a bit of cardboard. Uh, I mean it looks the same. Um, the the actual thing, but again it could be designed. It might be, so it might be designed differently. So again, I'm not sure. Does it have, have any kind of decal on the uh, on the back of it? Uh, no, it's a Disney Infinity. Some I was thinking, may, I was thinking maybe it might kind of um, it might kind of say Xbox One on the on the on the bottom, so you can only use it on that. But there you go. Yeah, there's a base, very basic. Um, yeah, aesthetically, the base isn't as nice as the Portal of Power for Skylanders. Again, the last, the last time I will uh, be kind of comparing the two. But again, of course, with the Xbox One, um, uh, so the PS4 users have um, a bit of an advantage where I, because the uh, the base for the uh, PS4 is actually wireless, but this one is wired. Why? I'm not quite sure because the, the Xbox One is capable of having wireless. Um, stuff um, so again I'm not quite sure why that is and then the usual um, which I don't even need to show but the kind of uh, safety information and stuff uh, so yeah that was the uh, starter pack but that is not all that is just the tip of the iceberg and yeah so next I'll be unboxing actually I'll show you I'll be unboxing the uh, inside out playset uh, again, obviously for Disney Infinity 3.0. Uh, this is the main one I wanted to get. I, mean, I know there is another Star Wars one, but it's kind of weird because I went to quite a few places and none of them had it. So whether it's not been released yet, maybe it's um, maybe there's a future release date. But yeah, here's the Disney Pixar Inside Out playset. So yeah, you get figures, you get uh, joy, uh, anger, and also of course the playset piece itself. Again, you get kind of some really nice artwork I quite like actually. And then you get the um, kind of uh, what, which they work, what kind of what figures work with, work with what. Obviously the uh, the 
characters in this game aren't kind of backwards compatible with, with the other games where I bath but I'm, I'm like 80 percent sure that you can use the past um um figures on the with this game so that's always good so yeah there we have the front again you see the characters on the back so yeah let's get into it so uh yeah so cheapest price i could find uh, not by much was a tesco um ow um <laughs> Uh, no, ow. Uh, um, twenty twenty nine pounds fifty. So only fifty pence. So fifty pence um, cheaper than anywhere else. Um, but the figures are even more, even cheaper, which I will get to when I actually uh, unbox them. So yeah, there's the plastic shovel right over there. Uh, so yeah, here we have the Joy uh, figure. Again, I love how, love the way they they designed. Lots of colour, obviously with it being uh, Disney Pixar, and uh, I just I just really well designed. That's so there is Joy. And he will eat love. Hang on. <laughs> Falling on the floor. He'll be angry about that. <laughs> uh, yeah, there is Anger from the film. Again, uh, really, uh, I mean, the character itself is very um, kind of blocky. And whether the, the where, with, with, with the blocky kind of um, animation that is in the game, and it kind of it, it fits all the other figures as well, which I really like. And yeah, a. Um, a angry memory, or uh, yeah, angry memory, I suppose. And then you get a joyful memory. Of course, it's a different colour. And then we have the uh, oh, that's cool. The playset piece, which is the um, which is where the you know the, the core memory keep or whatever they call it, where they uh, kind of keep all the core memories. Really, that's really that's really well designed. That actually, to be, to be, to be fair. So yeah, again, I love the kind of the crystal design of this. Uh, so yeah. So very basic, like I say, you just get the uh, get the two figures and the playset piece. I should probably uh, move this down a bit, actually. Uh, just uh, cause obviously needed the wide angle for the actual for the big box, but I don't need that anymore. So there you go. So yeah, like I say, yeah, again, really well designed. That's all. That's all you really want. Well, that's well, that's, that's all I want at least. Uh, so yeah, of course, you also get the uh, the card as well, which has a code on the other side. Again, that is not all. I will next be unboxing uh, some figures and uh, from the playset uh, pack you can kind of see a uh, find a theme going through these we have the fear figure again from Disney Pixar's Inside Out again maybe kind of up a little bit more uh, yeah there we have like I say the fear figure and again the basic kind of uh, other stuff as well uh, again, I do like that. Like I said before, I do really do like the artwork on these. Uh, and I should probably say this at the end, but um, I do apologise if the video goes on for a bit longer than needed. But um, there we go. I mean, it's nice artwork. I'm not going. I'm not going to be keeping it, so there's no point kind of just mother to rip it open. Again, I'll show the um, show that over there. Get the again the card there, and then the actual figure. <laughs> Love that. Um, oh, I really like the base, the, the uh, kind of the bases on these. It's like each um, kind of set of characters have have their own kind of base on it. That is really really cool actually. Um, I think that's meant to be kind of you know in the film with the kind of when they're standing on the the kind of the kind of sp uh, spirally thing where the uh, memories go down to. I think go down to long term memory is it I think, and then we have a fear, a fearful memory. Again, again, really well designed. You do get, uh, you get the kind of the blockier ones like things like Wreck It, like Ralph and Wreck It Ralph, um, kind of Venom from a Marvel one, and you get also get the um, kind of uh, the the bigger kind of bulkier ones. But you also get the thinner kind of spindly ones, which I really really like. You get a lot of variation from them. So yeah, there is the fear figure, and uh, again you will see a theme. Uh, next we have sadness again from Inside Out, and then again some really nice artwork on the back there. Again, it kind of shows you what kind of which figures can uh, can be used uh, when. Uh, I do like the fact that I mean yeah, of course it'd be like impossible to do anyway, but the fact that if you kind of I don't know whether kind of the levels will kind of carry over. But um, I'm pretty sure that um, what was I was trying to say that um, 
yeah, that you don't have to buy kind of specific uh, different figures for specific um, consoles. Uh, so if, if you um, do have kind of have the figures from uh, a place from uh, a starter pack that um, that you don't need, you can still kind of uh, play the characters in the new games. So yeah, there we have sadness again. This is a little bit more um, more substantial, um, but again, do like a uh, sad memory. And uh, yeah, really well designed again. Uh, I'm not going to go th um, spend too much time on these. And then it, again, a theme we have disgust. So uh, yeah, I'll show the back as well. Uh, I do apologize if you can't if you can't if you can't see. But any any info you do want that um, I don't give, please do uh, leave a comment down below. And, uh, in a, and if I know the answer, I will um, reply with an answer. Hopefully the right one. Uh, again, shove that over there. We have uh, an TV figure out. And there we have it, we have Disgust. Uh, not, I'm going to say not my fa not my favourite character from the film, but um, uh, she does the job, if you know. Yeah, basically, she does the job, you know. Again, we have a Disgust, uh, uh, Disgusting memory. Um, Again, I do, I do like the I love love the character designs on all these. Don't get me wrong, it's just um, I do kind of like certain characters a little bit more. Shit, so yeah, I cannot find the card anywhere. Excuse me again. So there is the uh, three um, separate um, pa uh, you know, figures. Uh, again, cheapest again was a uh, Tesco at twelve pound fifty. Um, I think the most expensive, which is ridiculous, it's fifteen quid each a game. I don't know how they get away with that shit. I'm, honestly, I could rant about game for a long time, but I'm not going to. Uh, but yeah, so if you do want to pick them up, definitely go to Tesco because they are at least a fifty pound cheaper, a uh, fifty pound, fifty pence cheaper. Uh, you can get them from places like Smiths, uh, Toys R Us. I think again a fifteen. Again, why? How they get away with that? I don't know. But I mean, to be fair, he, uh, the Toys R Us near me didn't even have them, at least not on display. So I don't know what the hell they're playing at. Um, but uh, but yeah, so yeah, that is not all though. We have some uh, kind of peripheral um, peripheral items. And the first one is a bit a bit weird because um, it's I'm not technically unboxing it because I already have unboxed it. But I will be kind of unboxing the uh, toy box takeover um, playset piece. Now I don't know if you need this piece to be able to play. Um, all the kind of the past um, infinity characters in uh, 3.0, or if it's just like a level a level pack kind of thing. Uh, but there is the box anyway. A bit of a weird thing because uh, again on Tesco.com, again like I say, I paid 32 quid, 32 pounds for the starter pack, and basically it was um, there was an offer where if you, um, so I feel like I'm shouting, if you. Um, uh, yeah, if you pre-order it, you can get a uh, toy box, the toy box takeover piece for free. But for some reason, they shipped the starter pack with a uh, with the again the toy box takeover piece, but they still sent this separately. So I actually have two of these. Uh, so I have actually opened it, but I'm not going to be open this one. And uh, here is the the piece itself. Uh, again, so you get a I do like this. It's kind of like a little dome thing that kind of has the uh, the uh, kind of the pattern underneath it, which I really really like. Uh, so like I say, I don't know if you need this, but um, I think was it twelve pound fifty at te uh, from Tesco.com. I haven't actually seen um, them sell this kind of um, any uh, kind of anywhere I went today. But um, there you go. Yeah, I will say now that I did actually receive the uh, start pack yesterday, but I got the kind of the figures in the playset uh, this afternoon. Uh, so yeah, I kind of will be. I didn't, didn't really unbox it, but I've kind of shown the box. And uh, yeah, I'll set that to the side for a little surprise that'll be coming in a minute. So uh, yeah, so I also bought, now this is the last thing I promise, I also bought, um, and uh, yeah, I will say now, now gone are the days of power disc blind packs. They have done away with that stuff for 3.0. Why they needed to do that for the other two games, I'm not quite sure. It's a complete rip-off, especially if you pay full price and you get like doubles and doubles and doubles and doubles of the of stuff you've already got. I mean, honestly, I have at least like like eight of those um, those Jack Sparrow coin ones from the first game. 
honestly it's unbelievable so i've actually kind of gone to the um like gone to the the ebay route because there are kind of sites which will sell them the power discs separate um uh, kind of separately kind of if you pay for you know uh individually so yeah you pay the power disc, power disc pack uh, individually um uh, but some places do kind of have the blind packs for like really cheap but, um the thing is if you buy like if you want to get a specific one if you buy loads of of the uh the disc packs for like a pound each i know um, i think it was um asda excuse me and again uh, asda the um they were kind of on offer for a pound um which i got kind of a few uh but the thing is if you weren't wanting a specific disc and you don't get it. Let's say if you buy like ten, like ten packs of the power disc things, and you want one, fi only want one figure. The amount of money you spend on the uh, kind of the numerous packs, you might as well um, buy the specific disc you want outright because you will. Because if you don't get the power disc you do want, you're going to waste the money. But if you pay for the one you do want, yes, you might get. The one that you do want in that pack, but are you? Are, but do you want to waste the money to find out? Uh, so yeah, they've done away with that for the uh, 3.0. So the last thing I'll be, I'll be unboxing will be the uh, Twilight of the Republic Power Disc Pack. Now, uh, these I don't know if there's be if there'll be any more. Um, there'll be any more for. I mean, will I don't know if they'll release another one for Twilight of the Republic, but each each pack is exactly the same. So it's a, so you don't have to kind of buy um, separate ones, uh, which is quite good. Of course, because of they have actually put the price up, so uh, it's now it's now like well for now it's uh, six pounds for this pack. But again, um, you do get um, each one, so it's like you don't have to buy um, kind of numerous ones because they're exactly the same in the same position as well. Um, so yeah, again, cheapest price was Tesco uh, for six pounds. Uh, everywhere else, uh, at least that were selling it, not many places, not many places, not many places were were um, uh, uh, nearly uh, was six ninety nine. So I spent, uh, saved uh, nearly a pound there. So that's always good. Uh, yeah, open this up, and this is going to be hard because I nope, oh, actually not that hard. Um, there we go. Um, and yeah, the usual kind of uh, safety uh, stuff. Uh, so yeah, if that will focus. Yeah, that's more or less it. Um, so yeah, I don't think if that, these have kind of specific names, but they don't have it on the actual uh, disc anyway. Uh, so that's, um, I don't know what it is, but it's... Um, Again, I was going to say what character it was, but I've no idea what, what character it is, so I can't really say. Uh, and then you get uh, this one, which is looks like a vehicle of some sort, I think. And then you get, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is Anakin Skywalker. I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, so to be fair, it's more kind of based on kind of the the animated kind of Clone Wars animated series more than it is uh, the new movie or the kind of the movies in general. Uh, and then that is a, I'm guessing, some kind of um, new environment. Uh, so, you know, that's another, those aren't the same. They, just, they kind of look quite similar. So yeah, there we have the uh, power disc, um, the Twilight of the Republic power disc pack unboxed. And that is the end of this unboxing. But wait, there is one more thing. Now, I'd, I have actually, I just thought of doing this just before I film this video. Now, I was go actually going to sell this Toy Box Takeover um, uh, piece, but I decided to give it away. Yep, I'm going to be giving away this Toy Box Takeover piece worth £12.50, at least from Tesco. Um, so yeah, uh, really simple. All you have to do is leave a comment on this video. That's it. Just leave a comment. You don't have to answer any kind of question. Um, you don't have, kind of have to ask me any questions. You can just any any comment. You can put like, you know, like piss off or whatever in a, in a comment. You still get it, and I'll put all the names in a kind of a hat and kind of pull them out of a drawer and give this away. Uh, so yeah, you can win a Tobox token. Again, I'm not sure if you need this to play with the other characters in the 3.0, but I will test that. And um, if I find out the answer, I'll kind of put it in the, in the description box below. Uh, but yeah, you have the chance to win this toy box takeover piece. Takeover piece again worth twelve pound fifty. Um, yeah, so that's it.
So again, just leave any kind of comment down below for this video, obviously, no other videos, um, and uh, you will get the chance to win it. So uh, yeah, I won't put on my kind of all in a, in a position, but uh, yeah, that'll about do for this video. Again, I do apologize if it was quite long, there was quite a lot of stuff to go through, and uh, yeah, I think that's all that's needed. So uh, yeah, tomorrow will be uh, my uh, Blu-ray update, or kind of uh, actually quite a big update to be fair. Um, so yeah, I will now let you go. So thanks as always for watching. Again, comment down below to win that takeover piece, and any other quest, any other questions you may have uh, on the on the game, on the figures, or anything. Again, pop it down in the comment section below. And uh, yeah, that'll do it for the video. So thanks as always for watching and have a great day.